Hello everyone, welcome to our next Loiverse interview. We're here in London today with Richard Stones, who's going to tell us about what he's getting up to. Um, so, Richard, if you'd like to give us a brief overview of uh, what your business vision is and what you're getting up to over there. I, uh, um, I run a vape cafe slash uh, vape lounge, I guess. Um, it's kind of a place for people to come who vape and they can buy all of their um, vape juices, vape mods, tanks, um, all of that kind of stuff and have somewhere to come indoors um, and chill, grab something to eat and hang with their friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what was the reason you set that up initially? Uh, I was actually working downstairs um, because my cafe's on the second floor, it's above a comic book shop. So I was working downstairs uh, in the comic book shop and the, the second floor wasn't really being utilized. Okay. Um, and yeah, I guess I kind of just saw a business opportunity there and mm -hmm. went for it. <laughs> Great, making the most of the space, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. May I ask how old you are? 27. 27, okay, cool. You, I think, I'm not sure because I didn't ask specifically everyone else we've interviewed, but I think the youngest uh, uh, how to say, entrepreneur, I can say, that we've, <laughs> we've had on these interviews so far. So it's good to see that, good to see. We're always trying to encourage such young people to be prepared to take those kind of risks and so on. So in line with that, have there been some, some challenges for you since you've been setting up? Yeah, there's been uh, quite a few. Okay. Um, obviously with the, uh, all of the regulations and stuff with food and then all of the regulations with uh, all the vape side of it and uh -huh. all the vape juices uh -huh. um, and the combining of those two together has been quite a, quite a challenge. I see. <laughs> I see. And uh, what, what, um, how have you been able to overcome them or to, yeah? Well, it's a lot of uh, paperwork mainly. Uh, but, um, and having to keep everything separate and to show that I'm able to keep everything separate. And I, see. Um, I effectively have to run two businesses to run the one business. Mm -hmm. I have to run the cafe side of everything as a cafe uh -huh. and the vape shop side of it as the I vape see. shop. In order to keep it official, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of hard work. Um, a uh -huh. good business plan is key. Mm -hmm. um, and having your vision and sticking to it and yeah, you just kind of have to plug at it. It doesn't always work out the way you, you want mm -hmm. it to, but um, definitely stick with it and right. make a good go of it. Mm. And we, you weren't, uh, have you, is this the first business venture you've gone into yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it makes a difference when you are the, you're the one owning it, you're the one creating it, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot more, the, the repercussions seem a lot harsher <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> when it's your own money involved, mm. um, for sure. Uh, right. it's, yeah, it's been, but it's also, it gives you the, the creative freedom to be able to do what you want to do. Uh -huh. Um, and that side of it is amazing. Uh, like I, I didn't realize how nice it would be to be able to um, make something that I've come up with and now I see it and it's, it's mine. Mm. It's how I wanted it, it's how I envisioned it. Right. And to see other people now enjoying what I thought would be a good idea and right. something that I thought I would like and to see other people now enjoying it is a feeling like none other. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. That's that's exactly it. And I guess when 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 if I were to see the shop, then it would also reflect that your own your own imagination got um, produced there, and also the customers, the kind of customers that come in. Yeah, yeah, very much. I, like I, I try to, uh, especially with the vape side of things, build a. Um, well, it's more of a community here because obviously I've got the cafe side of it as well. So it's it's nice. Everyone's everybody knows everybody else. Uh, we get a lot of new people come in, uh, and they end up sitting sitting down and having a chat and making loads of new friends with people. And yeah, it's good. It's a really nice environment. Very sociable. I can hear that. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Cool. Okay. Um, moving on a little bit. So you've been using our app for how how long now? Uh, good. Probably three four months. Three or four months. Okay. I think. Very valued customer, I can see, or user. <laughs> uh, what, what has been your experience so far with, with Loiverse in general? Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, I use it a lot. I use the back end side of it a lot, uh -huh. um, like daily, in but fact. Analytics when, and all that, yeah? Uh, well, more for the stock, the inventory. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, 
because it's so nice. Like if I have a day off and I've got one of the other guys working here, I don't have to ring them up and be like, oh, what stock do we need? I can go to the like oh supplier and um, I just pull it up on my phone hmm. and I've got the back end and it's like, oh, you're low on all of this stuff. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then I just go and buy it and bring it in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean, that side of it's been fantastic. Mm. Obviously, the being able to see um, what I've taken and all of the analytics side of it, the uh, like the money side of it mm-hmm. um, in real time as well, right. wherever I am, is fantastic. Mm. Mm. Great, great. Well, we're happy to hear it's serving you well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So we're also interested. You know, can be, can be come a time when you're you've, you've you're satisfied with where you've come to or you're happy with where your business is at, but then can come moments of where you're maybe getting a bit stuck for new ideas or I'm wondering, is there some um, something you, vision you have for the future of your business, how you want to expand, how you want to develop or something like that? Uh, I don't, it, like I kind of want to open a second store, obviously, okay. um, but that's that's how I, I like my business model works is, uh-huh. um, I can't really expand any more here. Obviously, I can expand the customer base, mm-hmm. but that's something that's just going to happen naturally over time. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay. opening a, another a sh- store in a different location okay. uh, so would be my next. Do you feel ready, stable enough in your current situation to be able to do that? Or? <laughs> Not yet, no. Okay, so the key <laughs> I've, is... I've only been, yeah, I've only been trading for about four or five months myself, yeah. so... Yeah, okay. Anyway, that's good. Good to hear. You know some some thoughts. Of course, the key is when you're stable inside in in your own uh, environment, then you can start to branch out and yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. All right. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Um, don't have any more questions on my sleeve, but I wonder, Richard, if there's anything else um, from your side, some interesting experience you've had or a story you want to share, which might be valuable for. Entrepreneurs in Asia, in Africa, in America, all of these different places who are listening now, some advice or, yeah, just if you have anything else, please feel free to share. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that's a good one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all I can say is if you've got something that you, you truly think um, will work and you believe in 100%, go for it. The only person who's stopping you is you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. There's been lots of uh, obviously lots of times where I, before I started that I was not a hundred percent sure it was something that I I could even do um, mm. by myself. Obviously, mm-hmm. this being my first venture into it, all it's it's a very daunting um, idea uh, to start your own company and mm. run your own business, mm. and a hundred percent worth it. Mm. Definitely worth doing. Um, even if it doesn't work out, the the experiences and the things you'll learn, hmm. you've seen yourself it worth. growing with it with the business. Oh yeah, of course, uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's been lots of um, challenges and hurdles to overcome, but they just make you better and a stronger person. I think so. Yeah, it's good. Mm. So one more time, I'm not sure if I even introduced, but what was the name? The name of the the shop. Oh, Cloud9 Cafe. Cloud9 Cafe, right? That's okay. So you're getting there, yeah? Cloud9, um, <laughs> working your way up. <laughs> and uh, it's really great to hear from you. Thanks for a good uh, the interview. Um, no worries. Thank you for taking the time. Yeah, I enjoyed listening to you. And I, and I also hope we can stay in touch and then uh, see how your, your journey, ex- uh, journey of stabilization and then later on expansion can, can uh, pan out. No, I look forward to it. Okay, thanks a lot, Richard. All the best. No worries. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.